Welcome back to Cupcake and Pomps, and today I am bringing you this casino themed gift idea. My husband came up with the idea, and I was like, Ooh, let me do the DIY. His parents love going to the casino. I'm not even exaggerating. If they had a choice to go to Vegas or come to see us, they're going to Vegas. I thought this was a great gift idea. I first I wanted to put the slot machine on the top of the box but when they opened the big shipping box I didn't want them to know right away what it was so I was like this is perfect when they open it on the inside is where I will put the slot machine. We went to different places like Burlington, TJ Maxx, Tuesday morning and in my opinion Burlington had the best, the best box selection at a cheaper cost. So we went ahead and grabbed this one, of course, and a bunch of other little boxes that I will go into more detail later on in the video to tell you exactly what was put in each box and the little rhymes that we came up with. Each box is a prize, so when they get to the final prize, it will, of course, be money. So go ahead and stay tuned so you can see how we put this all together. All the items that you will see are either from the Dollar Tree, Joann's, Michael's. I was going everywhere to find the different items that I wanted. So again, I will go ahead and explain everything more in detail when I'm putting the boxes together and saying this is where I got it from so that way you know and if you want to go and pick them up. But most of the stuff like Joann's and Michael's, they kind of sell kind of the similar things, but you know, sometimes one store has better sales than the other. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. The end result is amazing. This gift was such a huge hit. His parents thought it was so thoughtful and creative and they loved it. There was tears, guys. There was tears. We're going to start off by creating the slot machine. I grabbed this black scrapbook paper from Michaels. You can also get it from Joann's. It's the same cost pretty much. I was just at the Michaels so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I actually had to grab two because of course one scrapbook paper wasn't going to be long enough for the inside of the box. So what you're going to start to do is measure out the paper and cut it to the correct size. Add glue to the back of the paper, place it on the box and try to smooth it out as best as you can. If some of the corners are coming up, just add some more glue and smooth it down. And you just want to go ahead and repeat that for the other side. And don't worry about the little space between the two black scrapbook papers. We are going to go ahead and cover that space with some gold scrapbook paper from Michaels. They had this Las Vegas sticker at Michaels, which was perfect. It's easy. Just remove the paper off the back and just stick it on there and voila. And it's perfect and goes with the theme of the slot machine. I wanted to go ahead and stick with the gold theme of the box. That's why I chose the gold scrap scrapbook paper and the gold letters. I wanted to go ahead and personalize it a little bit more and put their last name on their slot machine. Here is the winning trio that I created in Photoshop. I went ahead and lined it up and cut it into the size that I needed. I cut it into three separate pieces and left spaces between it. And then I also had to straighten out the casino stickers. Before gluing on the triple sevens, I decided to go ahead and place the prizes on the right hand side so they know which order to go ahead and open their boxes to get to the grand prize. This was also created in Photoshop. Now back to the triple sevens, we're going to go ahead and create a border with the gold scrapbook paper. So go ahead and measure everything out and get to gluing. I saw this SD card 
holder just laying around and I knew it would be the perfect size to make the buttons. So I just place it on top of this red scrapbook paper that I got from Michaels as well. And I just went ahead and traced all around it. I wanted the letters to be black so I grabbed my black vinyl paper, loaded up my silhouette program, selected a font, created the words, sent it to the cameo. To fill that little space below, I wanted to go ahead and add one more thing, claim your prizes below, which was also created in Photoshop. In order for them to know which was box one or two, I needed numbers for the boxes and I wanted big numbers. Joann's or Michael's didn't have the size that I wanted so I just went ahead and created them on my Cameo. There was just no way I was getting another box in that bigger box, so I just decided to go ahead and grab a bubble mailer envelope. I had some tissue paper lying around from the Dollar Tree. I wrapped each shirt up individually, but then I was like, how are they gonna know which shirt is which? And then a light bulb went off. I grabbed two by four clear labels from Office Depot, but you can grab them from anywhere, Amazon, eBay, Staples. Then I headed back to my Cameo, printed Mr. B and Mrs. B on black vinyl, placing each of them on their own clear label. Then I taped the rhyme on the side of the envelope that they would be opening because I wanted them to read that first, like in the prize boxes. Using extra gold letters, I decided to put two dad and mom on the top of the box and the box wouldn't close all the way so I just decided to add some Velcro. Ensuring the box will stay closed and secure for shipping. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye.